Exit 82, we're 82 miles in South Carolina. Cowpens, three quarter mile. Is that the Battle of Cowpens? I wonder. I wonder if the Battle of Cowpens was there. Cowpens by Battlefield, next right, exit 83. Well, I guess we're going to have to get off there. Woo! We may ought to follow Speed Racer and see if he makes it wherever he's going to go in a line. Man. Battle of Cape Cowpens Battlefield Park. This is exit 83. We're going to get off here and we're going to investigate. Poor, poor Paul's fireworks. That's funny. I'm going to close my Google Assistant, or shut this one down and you know, close her out on this destination and go to the Battle of Cowpen and see where it is. Well, there's the sign. We'll, we'll follow it for a little bit and see where it goes. Cowpen's Battlefield. Okay, I'm going to turn it off for right now. Well, we'll cut it back on. Cowpen's Battlefield Scenic Parkway. You're going to have to be quiet, girl. We're going to the Battle of Cowpens. Cattlepins Battlefield. I wonder how far it is. They don't have it on the sign, shouldn't they? Okay, I'm going to turn it off and start another one for this. Okay, Sunday, July the 4th, 2021. It is 12.15. We're going to Cowpens Battlefield Park. We've just gotten off the I-85 North. We're in South Carolina. We're on our way to um, Steel Creek Presbyterian Church, but I saw this Cowpens Battlefield sign, and so we're going to check it out. It is, let's see what the temperature is, probably about 82, 83. What is this big place up here? Boy. Seventy-nine degrees. Dollar Tree. I guess they ship out of there for all the Dollar Trees. Peach orchard or plum? That doesn't look like peach leaves. Upstate Corporate Park. They said Cowpens Battlefield Park was six miles. It's a nice drive. I'm gonna roll the window down. It's still not too unpleasant, but it is warm in here. in some cool air. 80 degree air. <laughs> I 
we will re-google the church from Cowpens and see if there's a different back roads route. That'll be fine with me. And what what could be more appropriate to visit, visit I think this is a revolutionary cow, cow pens, I think it's a revolutionary battlefield site. How could how, how more appropriate could it be to go on the 4th of July, go to a Revolutionary War battlefield site? That would even be okay for a Civil War battlefield site, but This is a scenic highway. It's nice. Nice drive. There's some interesting trees. Sunflowers out there and corn. Look at that, a new subdivision out here. One, two, three, four houses gonna be on slab. little chicken houses out there. We're only driving about 40 miles an hour, so six miles would take us a little while to get there. But this is a nice drive. Okay, what's that camera saying? Me telling me out there? That's not the battery. It's got to be heat. Now, 10% battery. These batteries sure are wearing out fast today, or seems like it anyway. Well, we're gonna let it run until it runs out. I have three of them, and I've got other two are fully charged. I'm recycling. I'm cycling them through using, you know, using the fresh ones and then running them back through. That's one thing about the GoPro Black 9, the batteries are supposed to last a lot longer. From what I'm reading though, it may have more issues than this Osmo. I'm wondering if DJI is going to come out with an updated Osmo. It's time, it's been over two years. raise your hands. How many of y'all knew this was cow pens? Well, I can't say it's for sure yet. It's a revolutionary war battlefield, but I'm not positive myself. I'm pretty sure it is.
this is not a state park or a national park, I might be able to fly the drone. If it's just a historical battlefield. National Park, I've got a pass. If it's a state park, I'll have to pay to get in. If it's a if it's a day use park. We should be getting close. Here's a sign up here. Okay, one mile, National Battlefield, one mile. Maybe the battery will hold out. National Park Service, yeah, I won't be able to fly here. picnic areas and uh, grills and stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. Coming up on US 221. I know nothing of US-221. Calpins National Battlefield to the right. Alternate US-221. Gaffney 12. National Battlefield. Okay, we're going to go to the right. I don't want to show my ignorance. I need to know what battlefield and which uh, war this was before I get in here. <laughs> Revolutionary War site. I thought so. y'all knew that? Raise your hands. Let me know. Give me a count. I bet the visitor center is closed. That battery dies. I'm going to have to put another one in because I don't want y'all to miss this. This is nice. Okay, the camera just quit right as I was pulling in, but I will drive back around and get video of the parking lot here. It's a mile, um, trail loop. I don't think anything would happen to the van here, but you just can't tell. I've got too much equipment in here to get, get away from the van and get broke into. And we are going to go the back way now to um, Steel Creek Presbyterian. I met some people that um, are from here, or from there. That's their family cemetery. I'm 
Okay, well, we can drive through here. Tour Road locked at 4.30. Okay. Well, we'll drive through the Tour Road. I've got one of those cheap plastic hubcap things squeaking up there on the left front tire. I may have to stop and get my wrench and take it off. Yeah, that's going to drive me batty. I'm going to have to stop and get it off. Speed up a little bit. may not hear it. speed up a little bit we won't get to see the park very good either look there's a deer and a turkey how about that wild turkey A lot of black eyed Susans. There's not much traffic coming through here. I may have to stop in the road and get me a pair of pliers and get that thing off. Look at all the black eyed Susans. We'll stop right here. I'm going to get that thing off. Well, the other camera gave out about it. 200 yards before I got here, so I didn't stop. Battle of Cowpens, Battle National Battlefield Park, Revolutionary War Battlefield Site. This is a gorgeous place. Let's go get some information on it now. Okay, Battle of Cowpens, South Carolina, British forces, a thousand and fifty, American forces, nine hundred and seventy. Well, it says the Battle of Cowpens Trail Loop is one mile, and I don't think anything would happen to my van, but I've got too much equipment in there to be a mile or half a mile away. So I'll just do a 360 right here at the trail. And then get back on my way. Get back on our way. Okay, the camera just quit right as I was pulling in, but I will drive back around and get video of the parking lot here. It's a mile, um, trail loop. I don't think anything would happen to the van here, but you just can't tell. I've got too much equipment in here to get, get away from the van and it get broke into. And we are going to go the back way now to um, 
Steel Creek Presbyterian. I met some people that um, are from here, or from there. That's their family cemetery. Okay, well, we can drive through here. Tour Road locked at 4.30. Okay. Well, we'll drive through the Tour Road. I've got one of those cheap plastic hubcap things squeaking up there on the left front tire. I may have to stop and get my wrench and take it off. Yeah, that's going to drive me batty. I'm going to have to stop and get it off. Speed up a little bit. may not hear it. speed up a little bit we won't get to see the park very good either look there's a deer and a turkey how about that wild turkey A lot of black eye Susans. There's not much traffic coming through here. I may have to stop in the road and get me a pair of pliers and get that thing off. Look at all the black eye Susans. Let's stop right here. I'm going to get that thing off. Somebody sure does like to make a lot of noise, don't they? Battle of Cowpens, South Carolina. Revolutionary War battlefield site. Okay. It's just a cheap piece of plastic, so I held on with those <coughs> plastic lug nuts, not very tight. I just grabbed it and ripped it off. I keep enough tools with me and either whatever vehicle I'm in to where I can change an alternator, probably a water pump. Um, I can do some mechanical repair myself in case the thing breaks down, whatever I'm in breaks down. Doing my own work saves me a lot of money. Just what I've done the last two and a half, three months has saved me about $3,000 in labor. Mechanic labor is $130 an hour. RV mechanic labor has gone to $160. Wish you could go back and see what it looked like. at the time and that's see that's one thing about these videos these videos digital videos they should last as long as they don't degrade they should last for eons people 50 60 70 years from now should be able to go back and see this stuff in high definition the way it is now and you know it's going to be different it could all be a lot more beautiful it wouldn't surprise me if mankind didn't go underground 
to live and let the surface rejuvenate itself. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. Of course, it wouldn't surprise me a bit too. If Thirty years from now, there weren't any. Wouldn't mankind was gone, had eliminated itself either. That wouldn't be a surprise. Okay, don't turn around and show your face. I do not need, you're not supposed to, on Google, you're not supposed to be able to see, identify people from their face. I know I've got some videos that do. I'm gonna have to go back and try to find them and blur them. Well, this will be my second Revolutionary War battlefield. I've got uh, Kettle Creek over around Washington, Georgia. So this will be pretty neat. I'll have another Revolutionary War battle video. picnic area no dogs no that said dogs and horses okay it did say no bicycles beyond a certain point back there so see a lot of these national parks and state parks you may not even be able to ride a bicycle in the park this is nice. You got bathrooms, picnic area. Very nice. You're just riding around, you discover all kind of stuff. What, a, what better place could you spend time at in the Fourth of July than Revolutionary War battlefield site? This is awesome. already seen a deer and a turkey as a bonus y'all y'all didn't get to see the turkey but I did y'all just have to take my word for it
be a lot of wildflowers blooming at some point. Well, it's got bicycles showing there. Must have just not been up around the building up there. You don't suppose there's still an old house up here, do you? Well, how about that? Let me get a picture. Okay. We are back on track for Steel Creek Presbyterian Church Cemetery. The information I got from that local couple back there that they've got they built a new church, it's right at the airport. And the old church 